Have you ever wondered why Jesus had to meet Moses and Elijah on the Mount of Transfiguration? Imagine a scenario where the past meets the present, revealing a powerful secret that will change your view of the Savior's true identity. Jesus, accompanied by Peter, James, and John, climbed a high mountain moving away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. There, in the sacred silence, something extraordinary was about to happen. Jesus' appearance began to change. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. The disciples, astonished and almost blinded by the brightness, could hardly believe what they saw. Suddenly, two figures appeared next to Jesus. It was Moses, the great leader who received the Ten Commandments, and Elijah, the powerful prophet who was taken to heaven in a chariot of fire. But why these two men? What did they represent at that crucial moment? Moses symbolized the law, while Elijah represented the prophets. Together, they were the embodiment of the entire Old Testament, which pointed to the coming of the Messiah. And now, on the Mount of Transfiguration, they were confirming the identity of Jesus as the fulfillment of all the ancient promises. Peter, impressed and confused, suggested building three tents, one for Jesus, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But before he could finish, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a mighty voice spoke from heaven, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. At that moment, the disciples understood that Jesus was not just a great teacher or prophet, but the Son of God himself. The presence of Moses and Elijah not only validated Jesus' mission, but also linked the entire history of salvation from the Old to the New Testament, revealing a divine plan that transcends time. The Transfiguration was not just a mystical experience, but a turning point in Jesus' journey. She prepared the disciples for future challenges, strengthening their faith and revealing the glory of Christ in an undeniable way. This event invites us to look beyond what is visible, to discover the depths of faith and to understand that in Jesus, the past and present come together, bringing eternal and transformative meaning to our lives. Therefore, the Transfiguration is not just an ancient story, but a call to recognize the glory of God manifested in Christ, which continues to light our paths today. The Mount of Transfiguration was not just an ancient event, but a glimpse of things to come, a moment that revealed divine glory in surprising and counterintuitive ways. Imagine being with Jesus, Peter, James, and John, as they climb that mountain, leaving the familiar world behind and entering a realm of mystery and revelation. When they reach the top, something unbelievable happens. Jesus' appearance begins to change. His face shines brightly like the sun at its peak and his clothes become white like pure light. This glow is not just a visual spectacle but a manifestation of divine glory, a glimpse of the true nature of Jesus as the Son of God. Suddenly, two figures appear next to Jesus. They are Moses and Elijah, representing the law and the prophets. These great leaders of the past are not there by chance. They symbolize the continuity of the divine plan, connecting the old covenant with the new. Their presence confirms that Jesus is the fulfillment of all promises and prophecies. Pedro, overcome by emotion and fear, suggests building three tents for them. As soon as he finishes speaking, a luminous cloud surrounds them and a powerful voice echoes from heaven. This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. With these words, God the Father confirms the identity of Jesus in a clear and indisputable way. The importance of this moment goes beyond the mystical encounter. The transfiguration is a harbinger of things to come. It is a promise of the future glory that all followers of Jesus will experience. It shows us that despite life's difficulties and challenges, 
There is eternal glory waiting for us. For the disciples, this event strengthened their faith, dispelling doubts and fears. They understood that Jesus was not just a teacher, but the Son of God himself, clothed in glory. This understanding gave them courage to face the future and persevere in Jesus' mission. For us, the Transfiguration offers a message of hope and encouragement. It reminds us that even in the shadows of doubt and fear, the light of Christ can illuminate our path. It is an invitation to trust in the divine plan and seek God's glory in our everyday lives. The Transfiguration calls us to live with the certainty that just as Jesus was transfigured, we too will be transformed by the glory of God. Peter, James and John follow Jesus up a high mountain, unaware that they were about to witness one of the most extraordinary events of their lives. The tiredness of the climb is replaced by anticipation, each step taking them closer to the unknown. When they reach the top, what they see is unimaginable. Jesus, the man they knew so well, begins to transform before their eyes. His face shines like the sun, and his clothes become white like light. The radiance is so intense that they can barely look directly at him. The common man, who shared meals and walks with them, is now transfigured into a heavenly glory that leaves them astonished. As they try to understand what they are seeing, two figures appear next to Jesus. Moses, the great lawgiver, and Elijah, the powerful prophet, are talking to him. Peter, in his usual impulsiveness, tries to make sense of what he is seeing and suggests building three tents. One for Jesus, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He wants to preserve that sacred moment, create a sanctuary for that divine vision. But before he could finish his proposal, a bright cloud envelops them. From the cloud, a mighty voice echoes, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. This divine declaration leaves no doubt about the identity of Jesus. He is not just a teacher or prophet, but the Son of God himself. The disciples, overcome with fear, fall face down on the ground, understanding the magnitude of what they are witnessing. When they look up, the glorious vision is gone. Jesus is alone again, ordinary in appearance. But the experience has changed them forever. They descend from the mountain in silence, carrying with them the revelation that Jesus is the fulfillment of all divine promises, the promised Messiah. This experience on the mountain was not just a heavenly vision, but a confirmation of the disciples' faith. It prepared them for future challenges, strengthening their understanding and determination. The transfiguration revealed the glory of Jesus, dispelling any doubts about his identity and mission. For Peter, James, and John, that radiant vision would be a beacon of hope in their darkest hours. And for all of us, the transfiguration is an invitation to see beyond the ordinary, to recognize the glory of God present in our midst, and to trust in the transforming power of Christ. Moses and Elijah, central figures in the Jewish faith, represent the law, and the prophets. Moses, the leader who freed the Israelites from Egypt and received the Ten Commandments, personifies the divine law, the foundation of the scriptures. Elijah, the powerful prophet who challenged false gods and was taken to heaven in a chariot of fire, represents the prophets, the voice of God, who guides and corrects his people. When Jesus, together with Peter, James, and John, climbs the high mountain, the appearance of Moses and Elijah is not mere chance. They are there to witness Jesus' mission, confirming that he is the fulfillment of all the promises made in the law and by the prophets. In this extraordinary moment, Jesus shines with a heavenly light, his face resplendent like the sun and his clothes white like light, revealing his true identity. Peter, Overcome by emotion and reverence, suggests building three tents for Jesus, Moses and Elijah, trying to capture and honor that sacred moment. Before he could complete his proposal, a luminous cloud enveloped them. From the cloud, a mighty voice declares, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. 
This divine proclamation leaves no doubt about the identity of Jesus. He is more than a great teacher or a prophet, he is the Son of God. The presence of Moses and Elijah alongside Jesus reinforces that he is the promised Messiah, the one who fulfills the law and fulfills the prophecies. For the disciples, this vision strengthens their faith, dispelling doubts and revealing the true nature of Jesus. They understand that they are following not just a spiritual leader, but the Son of God himself, in whom all the promises of salvation are fulfilled. This event is not just an extraordinary sight, but a moment of profound revelation and confirmation. Moses and Elijah, representing the entirety of the Hebrew Scriptures, testify that Jesus is the fulfillment of all divine promises. God's declaration from heaven solidifies this truth, strengthening the disciples' faith and preparing them for the challenges ahead. For us, the transfiguration is a powerful reminder that Jesus is the center of our faith, the fulfillment of all of God's promises. It is an invitation to listen to and follow Christ, trusting that He is the beloved Son of God in whom all hope of salvation is fulfilled. The transfiguration of Jesus is one of the most revealing events in the New Testament. It is not just a supernatural spectacle, but a moment of profound revelation that unites the Old and New Testaments, reaffirming the mission and divine purpose of Jesus. Imagine being with Peter, James and John as they climb a mountain with Jesus, unaware that their lives are about to change forever. When they reach the top, something extraordinary happens. Jesus transforms before your eyes. His face shines like the sun, and his clothes become white like light. This is not the Jesus they knew. This is the Son of God in all his glory. Suddenly, two figures appear next to Jesus. Moses, representing the law, and Elijah, representing the prophets. They are there to show the continuity of God's plan of salvation, confirming that Jesus is the fulfillment of all the ancient promises. Peter, always impulsive, suggests building three tents for Jesus, Moses and Elijah in an attempt to capture and honor that sacred moment. But before he can finish, a luminous cloud surrounds them and a powerful voice echoes from heaven. This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. This statement leaves no doubt about the identity of Jesus. He is not just a great teacher or a prophet. He is the very son of God. The transfiguration connects the Old and New Testaments in a unique way. Moses and Elijah, central figures in the Hebrew Scriptures, are there to confirm that Jesus is the promised Messiah. The Law and the Prophets pointed to Him, and now He is here, fulfilling all of God's promises. Their presence at Jesus' side symbolizes that He is the fulfillment of all the hopes and prophecies of the past. For the disciples, this experience is transformative. They see Jesus not only as their leader and friend, but as the Son of God, the Savior of the world. God's voice reaffirms Jesus' mission and strengthens the disciples' faith, preparing them for future challenges. The transfiguration is a calling for all of us. It invites us to recognize the true identity of Jesus and to understand that He is the center of God's plan of salvation. It is a moment that challenges us to listen to and follow Christ, trusting that He is the beloved Son of God, in whom all the promises of salvation are fulfilled. This event is not just ancient history, but an ongoing revelation of the glory and divine purpose of Jesus that continues to light our path today. As the disciples come down from the mountain, they are in a state of shock and wonder. What you have just witnessed is nothing less than the divine glory revealed in Jesus. They saw their master, whom they knew so well, transformed into a radiant figure, conversing with Moses and Elijah, two pillars of the Jewish faith. The presence of Moses and Elijah alongside Jesus confirmed to them that their master is the fulfillment of all the law and prophecies. Jesus commands them not to tell anyone about what they saw until he rises from the dead. 
this instruction, so enigmatic, leaves them reflecting deeply. Why should they keep something so monumental a secret? And what does Jesus mean by rising from the dead? As they descend the mountain, the experience begins to resonate in their minds. They remember Jesus' words about their destiny, but now those words have new weight. The vision of the transfiguration is not just a heavenly vision, but a confirmation of Jesus' identity and mission. He is truly the Son of God, and His path involves something much greater than they had hitherto understood. Jesus' reference to His resurrection confuses and intrigues them. They know that resurrection is a powerful concept in Scripture, but they had never imagined that it would apply to their own teacher. This revelation forces them to reconsider everything they knew about Jesus and his mission. Peter, James, and John try to process what this means for the future. The vision on the mountain strengthened his faith, but it also brought a new dimension of responsibility and understanding. They now see Jesus not only as their teacher and friend, but as the Son of God who will fulfill all divine promises, including the resurrection. When they return to everyday life, they carry this transformative experience with them. Every miracle, every teaching of Jesus is now seen in the light of the transfiguration. They know something monumental is about to happen, something that will change the course of history. For us, this story is a powerful reminder of the importance of faith and revelation. The transfiguration was not just a historical event, but a moment of profound revelation that continues to impact the faith of millions. She challenges us to see beyond the visible, to trust in the divine plan, and to recognize the glory of God revealed in Jesus. Like the disciples, we are called to reflect on the deeper meaning of the vision and to live in light of this transformative revelation. While Pedro is still speaking, a luminous cloud descends over them, enveloping everyone in an intense light. The atmosphere changes instantly, and a mighty voice resounds from heaven. This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Hear him. This divine declaration interrupts Peter's words and makes it clear that something extraordinary is happening. This voice is not the first time it has been heard from the heavens. At the time of Jesus' baptism, a similar voice proclaimed the same message, confirming Jesus' identity as the Son of God. Now during the transfiguration, this heavenly voice once again reinforces Jesus' divine mission, creating a powerful link between these two crucial events. The presence of the luminous cloud refers to the Old Testament tradition, where the glory of God was often manifested in the form of a cloud. Thus, the cloud is not just a physical manifestation, but a symbol of the divine presence surrounding and blessing the beloved Son. The statement, hear him, is a clear and authoritative command. It is not enough to simply recognize Jesus as the Son of God. It is imperative to listen and follow his teachings. For the disciples, this moment is overwhelming. The divine voice confirms everything that Jesus has taught and prophesied. Jesus' glory revealed at the transfiguration and God's declaration prepares them for the challenges that lie ahead, including Jesus' passion, death and resurrection. This event becomes an anchor for their faith, a powerful reminder that they are following not just a prophet, but God's beloved Son. The importance of the divine voice goes beyond the moment. It establishes a standard of divine authority and confirmation that legitimizes Jesus' mission and identity. The transfiguration becomes a milestone in the disciples' journey, a reference point that will give them strength and courage in moments of doubt and persecution. For us, the divine voice at the transfiguration is a reminder of the importance of listening to Christ. It calls us to pay attention to the teachings of Jesus, to recognize his divine authority and to follow him with confidence. The message is clear. Jesus is the beloved son of God and his mission is vital to the salvation of humanity. 
the transfiguration with the voice of God is more than a historical event. It is a continual confirmation of divine truth and an invitation to all of us to listen to and follow Jesus. It is a time of revelation and preparation, which calls us to embrace faith with renewed conviction and understanding. The transfiguration was not just a moment of glory, but a crucial preparation for the future challenges Jesus would face. At the top of the mountain, divine glory manifested itself in splendor, showing the true nature of Jesus as the Son of God. This vision was not just to impress the disciples, but to strengthen them for the difficult days ahead. In the midst of the dazzling vision, the Father's voice echoed, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Hear him. These words were not only a confirmation of Jesus' identity, but firm guidance for the disciples and for all of us. Jesus' mission on earth was established in a clear and divine way. Upon hearing these words, the disciples were called to pay special attention to Jesus' teachings, recognizing his supreme authority and the depth of his divine purpose. This event also serves as a promise of things to come. The transfiguration is a glimpse of the heavenly kingdom, a transformed world where the Savior reigns in radiant glory. It is an anticipation of the resurrection and the future coming of the kingdom of God, where there will be no more pain, suffering or death. Jesus was preparing to face the cross, and this glorious vision was a sign that, despite the sufferings to come, the final victory would be His. For us, the transfiguration is an invitation to tune into the heart of divine love and purpose. By embracing the meaning of this event, we are called to listen to and follow Jesus with more attention and dedication. His life, death, and resurrection are the essence of our faith, and the transfiguration reminds us of the glory that is to come for all who remain faithful. Spiritually, this event challenges us to look beyond temporary difficulties and focus on the eternal glory that awaits us. Just as the disciples were strengthened by the vision of Jesus' glory, we too can find strength and courage in recognizing that no matter the challenges we face, there is a promise of redemption and transformation. The Transfiguration invites us to trust Jesus fully, to listen to his teachings, and to live according to his example. In doing so, we align our hearts with divine love and find purpose and direction in our lives. May we, like the disciples, be transformed by the vision of Christ's glory and live with the hope of the eternal life he promised us. Recognizing the depth of this journey of faith and the ongoing search for guidance, strength and communion with the sacred, we have something special to share with you. In the first comment pinned below, you will find a valuable resource for anyone wishing to deepen their spiritual walk. We're talking about an ebook designed to accompany you over 52 weeks, offering deep reflections, daily practices and prayers, all inspired by the rich stories and biblical teachings we walk through together. This ebook is not just a guide, but a companion on your journey of faith helping to illuminate your path with insights and inspiration derived from the heart of the Bible. If you are looking for a deeper experience of faith, guidance in your moments of doubt, strength in adversity, and a more intimate communion with the divine, this resource is for you. We invite you to explore it and allow these reflections to guide your steps on the spiritual journey that unites us all. I will leave a suggested video where we will delve deeply into the exciting story of Daniel, one of the most inspiring figures in the Bible. Known for his unshakable faith and his ability to interpret dreams, Daniel faced challenges that tested his spirit and his devotion to God, including the famous episode in the lion's den. Don't miss the opportunity to discover how your story remains relevant today. Subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you don't miss this fascinating Bible study.